Now we are going to talk about vector algebra operations. So let's start from the easy one, the basic one. Okay, let's say we have u equals to u1, u2, u3, and v is equals to v1, v2, v3. Okay, these two they are vectors, and then we have scalar k. Okay, so basically when we add two vectors, u plus v, we add the components. Um, respectively. So we have u1 plus v1, u2 plus v2, and then u3 plus v3. Okay, well, let's take a look at the geometric interpretation of vector sum. So let's say from the origin we have vector u, and then we have vector v. So u plus v, it means we are starting from the initial point of u, and ends at the terminal point of V okay or you can draw both of the vector U and V in the in standard position okay and then you draw another two vectors that is that are parallel to U and V respectively so this one will be the V this one will be the U okay so these two these two vectors and these two vectors the combination of these four vectors form a parallelogram and u plus v is from the origin until the opposite vertex so you take a look at both vectors they have the same direction they have the same length they have the same initial point and terminal point and this sum of vectors is also called as the resultant vector Okay, this is about addition. How about scalar multiplication? When we take scalar multiplication, it means we take a vector u, we multiply it with a scalar. Okay, and in calculation, it means each of the components, they are multiplied with k. Okay, what we mean by scalar here, it is simply just a real number. It is not a vector. Okay, when we take a vector, we take a vector multiply with a scalar. Let's say this is the u. Okay, let's take a look at 1.5u, 2u, and negative 2u. Well, you can see from here, 1.5u, it has the same direction as u, same as 2u, it has the same direction as u, but 1.5u, it has a magnitude um, that is um, 1.5 multiple of u whereas 2u the length is double of u okay but when the scalar is negative 2 we have negative 2u you see this negative 2u has the same direction as 2u and also u and also um, sorry negative 2u it has the same length as 2u but it is opposite it has the opposite direction of 2u u and also 1.5 u so we can say here if k the scalar it is positive then k u has the same direction as u but if k is negative then the direction of k u is opposite to that of u so when we have the difference of u minus v it actually means u plus negative v okay let's take a look here if this is u and this is v okay where u u is u1 u2 u3 and v is v1 v2 v3 the calculation of u minus v that's simple we just take u1 minus v1 u2 minus v2 u3 minus v3 for the components but geometric uh, geometrical interpretation it will be like this one okay you we rearrange we rearrange the um to be easier we rearrange the v over here at the terminal point of u okay but since v having the sign of negative if we put it as u plus negative v okay so we are going to the opposite side compared to v so we have u plus negative v so this is our vector okay we take a look at the vector here u plus negative v and the vector u minus v here they have the same length, they have the same direction, they have the same initial point, they have the same terminal point. 
Okay. Let's do some calculation. Let's say we have u equals to negative 131 and the v is 470. And we would like to find the components for 2u plus 3v and also u minus v. But for question C, I uh, suppose we don't, we don't use the components here. For C, we would like to find the magnitude of half u. Okay? Okay, so 2u, here we have 2u, u is negative 1, no. negative 1, 3, 1, plus 3 by 4, 7, 0, okay, and this will give us negative 2, 6, 2, okay, multiply each of the component with 2, and then for the second vector, we multiply each of the component with 3. That gives us 12, 21, and 0. And then we sum up. That is the first component with the first component. So negative 2 plus 12, you get 10. <coughs> okay. 6 plus 21, you get 27. 2 plus 0, you get, sorry, you get 2. Okay. So this, so this will be the answer for um, A, that is 10, 27, 2. Okay, let's take a look at the second one, U minus V. Okay, we have negative 1, 3, 1, minus 4, 7, 0. Okay. Same thing as addition, we take, uh, we subtract, we subtract the respective components. That is negative 1 minus 4, that you get negative 5. 3 minus 7, you get negative 4. And 1 minus 0, you get 1. So the answer for question B, it will be negative 5, negative 4, and 1. Okay? Oops. Okay, so let's take a look at question um, C. For question C, as I said, we just want to find the magnitude, not the components. Components is for A and B. Sorry, there's a mistake in the slide. Okay, so we just concentrate on this one. Question C, we would like to find the magnitude of half U. Okay, for, so for half U, first, before we find the magnitude, we find the factor first. Half u is equals to, well, negative half, 3 over 2, and 1 over 2. Therefore, the magnitude of half u is equals to the square root, and then you square each of the components, you get 1 over 4 for the first component, the second one you get 9 over 4 and the last one is 1 over 4 and this will give a square root of 11 over 4 which is square root of 11 over 2 units okay so you get here this is how we find um, the vectors the components of vectors for a and b and then we find the magnitude of half u. Alright, 